We start tonight with a story we first told you about Monday. We met a woman named Rachel who was working in couch hopping so that she wasn't going to be counted in the Denver Homeless Survey. Well, one of our loyal viewers saw that story and was mo motivated to do something to help Rachel out. So he helped her get enough money to get a car. CBS 4's Jeff Todd on that story in Denver. And Jeff, I guess a big heart can go a long way. Jim, we met a man who Rachel calls a hero. She was able to keep her job and keep off the streets. They both don't think that their meeting was a coincidence. I'm homeless, I'm carless, and I'm about to be jobless if I don't find a way back in, to and from work. We met Rachel on Monday night while she was working as a home care provider. She just totaled her car. It was also where she slept at night. God's always watched over me. He's always provided a way. Cesar Amezquita saw our story and couldn't get last weekend's sermon out of his mind. The pastor was saying not to end January without helping someone, and it could be a homeless person. Something, you know, in my heart told me, you know, you gotta help her. Cesar called Rachel and offered her hundreds of dollars so that she could get another car. I could see a person that that was trying, you know, even though she was homeless. Rachel told us without a car, she can't work to get a home. Having a car makes, it makes it a little bit easier, a little bit less as hard. Strangers brought together from an unlikely source. What are the probabilities of you being in Chicago and someone telling you in Chicago, help a homeless person before January ends, right? And then you come here and there's this homeless person in need and you feel that strong connection. You know, I didn't save anybody's life. You know, I just, I just felt compelled to help her. Cesar told us that he helps people as often as he can, but for what he did for Rachel, he says that good feeling has stayed with him all week long. He's hoping other people will see this and pay it forward. <laughs> We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Compelled to help. That's just beautiful, Jeff. Thank you.